Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. It's a very crisp December morning today, but like, you know when the sun is still shining but it's so cold. Jake is just out doing the Christmas lights, like the outdoor Christmas lights. We're a bit late to the game with the Christmas lights, but we've just been super busy and now is the time when we found the time to put them up. So Jake is doing that. It's been snowing this weekend as well, which I love. It just feels so magical and Christmassy and festive when it snows. So yeah, it feels very Christmassy today. I'm in my super Super snug white fluffy jumper dress I love this dress it feels so cozy and you've guessed it by the title basically this video is going to be the downstairs bathroom reveal slash tour slash style with me and I've been waiting for this video to be filmed for so long I've been waiting for the bathroom to be finished for so long because when we moved into the house honestly we loved it like we loved everything it was our first home like it was so exciting but I hated the downstairs bathroom because it just looks so like boring and like I hated the cupboard that they put in like I know I sound really over dramatic and probably I'm being over dramatic but I just it just wasn't my style and I just couldn't wait to that's just Jake coming in now and yeah I just couldn't wait to like style it all up change it up add a little bit of character to that room and not have it just like a boring like white room with an ugly cupboard <laughs> we've had our trusty builder guy in who does like all our things for us we've had my dad in jake's been doing bits as well and i actually designed it so i can take credit for designing the bathroom because i'll talk about it in a minute when i show you because there was like a problem with the with the layout of that downstairs bathroom so i'll explain all in a minute but yeah we've all had our part to play in this tiny bathroom makeover and I'm just so excited that it's finally finished. So I thought for this video that I would give you a before and after so I'm going to insert some clips of what the bathroom looked like at the beginning and then I'll do a grand reveal of what it looks like now and then I'm going to style it up with you guys as well on screen because I know everyone always likes a style with me video so I thought that I would style it up Christmas edition because we are still in December and share that with you all as well. But before we do that I did just want to thank today's sponsor which is HelloFresh who I'm really excited to be working with again on this video. Lots of you will know already if you follow me on Instagram and YouTube and have been followers for a while that we've been doing HelloFresh for a while now and we always get so excited when we see our HelloFresh box has been delivered because we know we're just in for a real treat that week with all our amazing meals. You can pick your meals as well like if you go onto the website they've honestly got so much choice. It's like a restaurant times five like there's so many options that you can pick from and it's like so tailored to you like you can pick whatever you want, whatever you and your family like to eat and you can like pick how many people are going to be eating that meal so they send you more ingredients based on that it's just honestly genius like I think it's fab and Jake is a cook in our house because I'm not really the best cook ever and the meals that he's been cooking me from the HelloFresh ingredients are honestly insane like it feels like you're eating out at a restaurant every night so what could be better than that I do have a really good discount code for you to use as well, which I'll insert later on in this little clip, but I am going to rewind to earlier on in the week when we got home from work and we were cooking a really tasty meal. So I will rewind to that and then we will get started with the bathroom tour. So this is what we're having tonight. It's the Korma Spiced Pork Palaf and Mango Chutney. We've never had this one before and it looks amazing. Like I love stuff like this and it's got like Greek yogurt and things. I'm so excited. And as you can see, a little word rapid means that basically this dish takes literally no time at all to cook it says it'll be ready in 20 minutes or less which is perfect for us we've just got in from work we're absolutely starving so the fact that jake can cook this in 20 minutes or less and have it on the table is just amazing especially like around this busy time of year like christmas is so busy like chocker for everybody so you know you don't really have the time to be spending hours cooking and you know even though we'd all like to people just literally don't have the time so the fact that this is ready in 20 minutes or less is perfect here are all the fresh ingredients yeah i'm excited for jake to give this one a go we've never had it before so i'm excited to see how it tastes so i'll check back with you in a little bit when it's cooked in 20 minutes and let you know how it tastes so here's the finished result. It was literally ready in no time at all. I went upstairs to do like one job and then Jake was calling me saying it's ready. So yeah, it didn't take long to, to make at all. And I've just had a little taste and it tastes amazing. Like it tastes like something that, would, that I would order in a restaurant. Honestly, so good. So I'm gonna end this little clip now and start eating as I'm super hungry. But I do have an amazing discount code for you to use. So you can use the code florally60. I'll pop the code on the screen now and that can get you 60% off your first 
first HelloFresh box, which is more than half price, like that is so good. And then you can also get 25% off your next eight boxes, which is just amazing. So that's Florally 60 to get all of those amazing discounts. So here is what it looked like before. I hate that cupboard so, so much. And then as you can see, we've started to gradually change things. That's our new unit and mirror. Then we got the other cupboard on the wall, done the paneling. And in a minute, you will see the grand reveal. So here is the grand reveal, but there's no decorative pieces yet. So please excuse that. I'm gonna style it up with you guys in a little bit. But I did just want to give you just an overall tour. It's probably, the smallest room tour that you've ever seen because <laughs> it is just like a tiny downstairs bathroom but here it is I love it so much it looks so much better compared to what it used to look like I just think I think it looks bigger as well Jake seems to think it looks smaller but I think it looks bigger and it's definitely like so much more practical like some of you will remember we had just like a white cupboard there with no shelves and it just looked so odd and the reason we had to have that cupboard there is because of this situation here I've talked about it so many times so I won't talk about it again but who would put that there and that that is all. So we had to sort that awful problem out, first world problems, but I designed this little thing like shelves coming off a cupboard leading into this like slopey bit, this bit's our stairs. I'll see if I can insert the actual digital design that I did. I did it on Canva and I just knew it would look so much better and I was right, it looks so good. I cannot wait to style up the shelves. Shelves are just like the best things to style up, aren't they? So I'm so excited to style these shelves up with Christmassy pieces this time around as well. And then obviously we've got the stunning pan paneling which we've painted. We started painting it in the same colour as our paneling upstairs which is screenshot by Coat Paints but it just looked wrong. I don't know if it's because we had a white top as well. It just didn't look right so we decided to go over it in strong white by Farrow and Ball and it looks so much nicer and contrasts with the white a little bit. Like it's not a huge difference but you can tell the difference and it does complement all the other greys and like whites in this room really nicely so I'm so glad we decided to go for that. The only thing we we do need to finish is you know that little silicone like white plasticky bit that goes across the skirting boards like where the skirting boards meet the flooring we need to do that and we need to plumb the radiator in hence why that looks like that but apart from that everything else is pretty much finished so I'll briefly talk about where everything is from so this gorgeous mirror is from Melody Maison and I want to say it was like less than 20 pound it was so cheap and it's just stunning like I love the vintage look of it it also came with like a little chain where you could pop like a hook in and then have the mirror hanging from the hook with the chain which does look really pretty but we decided to take the chain off and just have it just up against the wall and it's quite small but perfect for this space because obviously we've got the cupboard sticking out a little bit now and yeah we just absolutely love that mirror and it was so affordable as well so I'll see if they still got it on the website and link it down below. I'll link everything down below by the way as always. And then our panelling, we put our panelling up with a kit from Rumix DIY which was honestly amazing like if you've never heard of Rumix DIY before it's basically they send you everything you need to do your panelling like from the cork to the wood to the saw to literally everything that you can ever think of which makes it so easy especially if you're not like DIYers and you like are a bit unsure on how what like what things you need like you go to B&Q and it's so overwhelming because you don't know what to buy so Rumix DIY just send everything in a box for you so that was super handy and this dado rail was also from Rumix DIY really pretty I love a dado rail and then the paneling was my dad's he had some old tongue and groove paneling so we just used that moving on to the furniture so our cupboard and the handle and the gorgeous unit and the top and the sink and the tap are all from bathroom mountain and I honestly could not be more in love with them I think they're absolutely perfect I love shaker style anyway so that was like a winner anyway because I just think shaker style just adds so much character lovely gorgeous like modern country vibe the handles are really pretty as well just like a brushed chrome I love this marble top I'll just sit on the toilet to show you this marble top I'm honestly obsessed with it. it looks so much like the Neptune bathrooms I've honestly dreamed of like a bathroom sink like this for so long I'm so happy with it this basin like I just love it compared to the old sink it's so much nicer and we've got a waterfall tap as well coming out of here oh, I just cannot wait to style this sink 
You might think I'm like overly excited about this sink and you are absolutely right because I'm just in love with it. I honestly really recommend Bathroom Mountain. They've got so many really beautiful like furniture for bathrooms and things and very Neptune look-alike pieces as well. So yeah, super, super happy. And over this side, here's a little bit of a boring angle. So eventually I would like my dad to try and make this shelf look a bit more rustic because this is just like the shelf that it came with, kind of like a like an almost like plasticky kind of shelf. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's neutral. It blends in with the wall, so I guess it's not too, too bad. And I don't really like the flusher either, but it's fine for now. And then our toilet roll holder was on that side, but I didn't want it on the panelling. So we've just got it on this side, and this is from Dunelm. I really love it. It looks really nice and vintage. And then here are the shelves that we attached to the cupboard. So we've just got, as you can see, we've got a piece of wood on top, and then a shelf in the middle and then a piece of wood all the way across the bottom as well and we we took off one of these doors and brought it to B&Q and asked them to colour match it and look how good that colour match is it couldn't be any more perfect to be honest so I'm just so happy with that so yeah that is the bathroom it feels a little bit echoey in here now so apologies for that but I'm just so happy with it I hope you guys really like it I can't wait to post this on Instagram as well I don't think I, I don't think I even posted the old bathroom on Instagram that just shows how much I actually hated it but hate hates a strong word I didn't hate it I just really disliked it. So now I'm going to style it up Christmas edition. So here is the finished result, all styled up. I love, love, love how it looks. Obviously it didn't take too long to style up because it's not a huge room, but I've just, I've wanted to style these shelves for so long now and I'm just so happy with how they look. So I'll just do a whistle stop tour of where everything is from. I'll link everything below in case you want to grab any of them as well. So of course I've got my Amber Glass Neptune hand and body wash and lotion here in the scent English Fig and I just think these sage labels are so cute, very in keeping with the theme and then because we don't have a towel rack holding it, we used to have one with the old sink because we had room but I don't know, I just feel like in that gap it might be a little bit too much of a squeeze so for now I'm just having a towel draped over and I don't think it looks too bad and this was from Home Sense. And then moving on to the shelves, so this cute light up house is from Asda, this bowl is from Neptune, it's a cereal bowl that I just bought one of a long time ago and I've got the two Neptune soaps in there and then you'll have seen that I faffed around with this area quite a lot so when I added this to the shelf I thought that the greenery in that Neptune vibe looked too much and like was a different colour so I've, I got rid of that and I changed the candle to a white candle just to match up the theme a little bit better. They're both from Neptune. Then I've got my Neptune tissue box holder, the hack that I shared a while ago so it's actually, if I can show you, hopefully you can see because I can't see because I'm too small but it is a tissue box but it looks so much like the Ashcroft tray, the, the small one so I've just got that up there with some amber glass bottles from M&S little Neptune tree, white company wreath which I love and then some white company body, not body, room spray. <laughs> and then moving on to this shelf behind the toilet, so because the shelves have quite a lot on I just felt like this area didn't need a lot, I, I was even going to put like a little candle or something there but I just feel like it looks nice just on its own. So this jug is the Elena jug from Harrison Cropper Interiors, I love it so much, it's so gorgeous and neutral and originally I put 
a Neptune vase here and it came it was just like a little bit taller it just didn't look right so I swapped it for this one and this vase jug is just perfect for like a smaller space it used to be on our windowsill in our bedroom but I love it here now and then I've just placed this absolutely stunning foliage from home pieces how beautiful is that it looks so realistic I've just got two stems in there they come as a pack of three and three even look too much for this space so i've just got two and look how full it is I've got all these green branches little pine cones here and some of them are topped with like a little bit of snowy frost as well and i just feel like that is all it needs it's not too much but it's quite a statement like thing that you look at when you walk in and then the shelves have the nice little accessories on and yeah that's it that's the end of the tour because it's such a tiny room here's our light by the way let me adjust the settings where did we get this light from i want to say like value lighting or somewhere like that i'll try and find out but it's just like a crystally small light which just complements the room really nicely so that's the end of the video everyone i hope you enjoyed seeing our downstairs bathroom reveal and seeing how i styled it up festive edition i would love to know what you guys think of course so please do leave me a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe for more home related videos in the future thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you very soon with a new video bye